Getting kind of deep up in here, Virgos. Virgos was like, listen, you know I had to do what I had to do. All right, I hear you, Virgos. Hey, Virgos, it's Little Mama, Little Mama. This is going to be messages for you guys for the mid-months of November 2021. Y'all know the deal. Check your house placements. And if this is your story, it may not be for you. So take whatever applies. So, Spirit, what's the messages for my Virgos? What do they need to know and see? Okay, you got two so far. Stay optimistic about your love life. Okay. And something about trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. But there's positive thinking and faith for real man. Bring romance. Okay. Bring romance. Somebody don't want to talk to us of romance. Okay. Is it because somebody may have codependency? I don't know. Addictions are affecting your romantic love life. <laughs> Virgo said it ain't my love life. Is this? I, uh, Virgo, but that's what they had said because, um... We got strength and we got death. I don't know if you're dealing with Scorpio or Leo, but maybe you're just going through this transformation. You're tired of the codependency, enabling a situation. And it's like, you have your power. They can't take their power from you. But who is this person that wants to have strength and courage to move forward towards you? I don't know. But we shall see. Because listen, hmm. we got the six materials, the tower, and death. So listen, expect the unexpected. We have Aries and we have Scorpio energy here. I don't know if you broke up with somebody, but expect some changes because with the tower and death, you're going through a heavy transition right now. Take whatever applies. But with the six of materials, are you just saying that maybe you're just focusing on money and you want this balance back in your life? You know you're receiving some payouts, right? And it's like this transformation that you're going through, cutting some shit off, releasing it, and just holding yourself accountable and focusing back on you. You know you're going to be receiving these payouts, okay? Some kind of a blessing in many different forms that you're going to be receiving. Earth energy, Aries Scorpio. What you going to do? Mm, I don't know. But let's see. We got the Ace of Emotions. Okay, you're self-loving yourself, right? <laughs> Maybe you're just giving this cup of love back to yourself. Because you know that you shine, right? And you know it always starts with you. Or are you just waiting for a new offer to come in? Waiting, what I mean by as far as you doing the work and maybe you're just going with, with the flow and you are very in tune with yourself. You're holding your head high and you just got some shit out of your life that you just knocked out <laughs> and you're staying optimistic and you're trusting in the process. I don't know if you're dealing with a water sign, but uh, if this happens to be a Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, maybe they know you're going through this transformation and you're saying it's not you anymore. The old you is gone, if it makes sense. Well, you getting kind of deep up in here, Virgos. Virgos was like, listen, you know how to do what I had to do. All right, I hear you, Virgos. But it's like, Virgos, it wanted to come back out because death is here again. You are really going through this transformation. And my condolences, if somebody had passed away, take whatever applies. But they probably see you going through these, ch these changes. And with the two of voices, it's like, you cutting some things out of your life. You made a decision. You're not trying to pull your hair, head out regarding the situation no more. And you definitely don't want to feel tied within any kind of situation, maybe a person, place, or thing. And it's like when you walk through that door, expect the unexpected. But that, to that door is an opportunity for you. But you hold that key. You're no longer locked. You're free. That's what I hear. No more codependency, releasing certain things out of your life that no longer serve you, right? Because not only that, it's like with the four materials, it's like, listen, you're going back to holding things within. If it had to do with money, I don't know if somebody was codependent on you and dependent on you to give somebody some money. Could have been a loan, could have been anything, right? Could have been anything. Hmm. Makes sense, right? Virgos, do you not see this cam camel here? It's like you want to take your time. And you're definitely not rushing the process. And it's like, you're saying to yourself, maybe I need to start going back to treating myself the way that I should. If it makes sense, take whatever applies. And you're just probably saving up now. And you definitely see it because you're like, yo, I self-love myself. I'm going through this transformation. You're trusting the process and your eyes is closed to anybody that has anything in terms of an addiction, any codependency, you're no longer enabling a situation and you cutting that shit off. You're like, yo, I'm not trying to hear this shit no more. I, ain't, I don't know if you're dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo like yourself, but you just definitely said you released some shit 
and you had to break free. That's what I hear. Okay, you're breaking those chains, huh? Because with the music material, King of Pentacles, that's you. Are you dealing with another earth sign? It's like, yeah, you want to go back to grounding yourself, self-loving yourself, embracing the chain of a change. Do you not see this chain here? You're breaking free. You may not see it, but you definitely hear it. You could be tapped in, talking to your spirit guides, your good ancestors, the most high, right? And it's like the belief that you have, it's like the way that you re released it, you feel free, you feel liberated. If it so happens to be a king of pentacles in your life, an earth sign, they're grounded, they're stable. They want to offer something to you. And Virgos, it's like you want to build and you're keeping your head high. Again, that's what they're saying. And it's like, you see this? <laughs> Are you giving flowers to yourself because you self-love yourself? You know that you're a star. Do you not see the starfish here? I don't know if you're dealing with an Aquarius, but it's like, do you not see these two fish here? It's like you want a soulmate in your life that's real, true, and dear. That's what I heard. Yeah, some people may have their flaws, and you may have your flaws, but it's like there's no, I'm hearing there's no judgment zone going forward, right? You can't blame somebody. They can't blame you. You want somebody that believes in themselves because you may see things in other people, but you want them to believe in themselves too, just like you believe in you. Trusting the process, having faith, going with the flow in terms of your emotions because you're tapped in with your heart chakra. And with the blue hair, you're speaking and you're manifesting. You're definitely saluting yourself. And if you're going to build with somebody, maybe you're communicating this for somebody to let them know some things that... You may have had in your life in the past that was either codependent or any lessons. You don't have a problem sharing it with somebody. You don't have a problem sharing your story. But you're not going to tell everybody your story. But the way that you communicate, you mean business. And there's no nonsense regarding any kind of situation, maybe a person, place, or thing. And it's like the way that you self-love yourself, it illuminates. And it's like, I'm hearing your flow with grace. Okay, Virgos. Virgos is like, listen, it is what it is. Okay, Virgos. I don't know why I'm whispering, but that's what they had said. <laughs> but it's like Virgos, whoever this person is, right? It's like we have the night of materials here. Like I said, yeah, slow and steady wins the race, right? But you don't mind taking things slow. You don't want to rush the process, and especially if you're looking forward towards, you know, your long-term goals. So you may have executed your short-term goals, but it's like the way that you want to move forward with grace and you want longevity in your life because you don't want, I'm hearing, a short-term lover, a part-time lover, <laughs> to saying you want something that's genuine and real in a non-judgment zone i'm hearing a virgo said take me for who i am okay virgos because you trust in the process shit is it another earth sign you're dealing with i don't know virgos but somebody definitely wants to communicate something with you and i guess you're very vocal in terms of that because with the chariot can serious energy somebody knows that you're moving forward you're moving forward toward your victory and like i said your eyes is closed. You're it, you're trusting the process. You're taking your time. And you know that you're going to seek your victory, especially blocking things out of your life that no longer serves you. You got to cut some shit off. It may have been painful, but it's a, lear it's a learned lesson of a chapter that you go through your life. Because we don't know everything, but it's a learning process, right? Because mm -hmm. with the two materials, it's like, listen, you want this balance back in your life. You want equality, right? And as I said before, you want reciprocity. But you're not going to be in a situation, maybe a person, place, or thing, where there's some codependency. It could be with the job. It could be with money. It can even be with love. But <laughs> I'm hearing a Virgo said, don't juggle my love. All right, Virgos. Don't juggle my love. That's what you had said. Hmm. That's deep. And you're healing. You could be a star seed. A lot of star seeds are definitely expressing how they feel. And maybe you help the community, you help the world heal. Some of you could be healers with your hands. And as a high priestess, you definitely know this. And as I said before, you could be a healer with your hands, 